So you join me behind the wheel of the Lexus LBX. We are just about to join the M77 motorway. Now we're just between two roundabouts here. It does feel like it's got a little bit of regen braking when you've got the foot off the accelerator. It pulls you a little bit slower than I have experienced in other hybrids. Um, it's not something I read online if I had regen braking like that, but it certainly feels like it. Um, this does have the 1.5 litre three cylinder petrol out of the Yaris Yaris Cross. It does have 134 brake horsepower, so a little bit more than them. 0 to 60 is in the 9 second range. MPG is in the claim 61.4 miles to the gallon, but I'm achieving about 52.6 miles to a gallon today. Um, it is May, it's currently 16 degrees now, the 1 degree warmer since we're filming. Then it's just a lovely rainy Scottish day. Now I like, I just like the size and dimensions of this car. It's chuckable. It's this size. This size of car is great for UK roads because we've got width restrictions on random bridges. We've got do not tighten me roads, and sometimes driving a bigger car is a lot bit harder to like park or you're worrying about it. Having that smaller dimension car is just great. You know, I can see why the Via Volk's popular, just gonna pass one here and other kind of hatchbacks just because it's great for our roads here. Um, this car does have a host of safety features. It's got things like it's reading the traffic light sign in front of me, it's got the driver detection in front. We've even got adaptive cruise control, which is great, and we've got automatic lights and wipers that you would expect of a car with this price tag and built 2024, but it's worth mentioning. It even has a trip computer which um, I thought we just take for granted now, but it's worth mentioning that as well. This car does have the premium sound system, it sounds great when you're out and about with the road noise. I'm not going to play anything right now just because it'll be copyrighted, but it is quite a good system being premium and not being upgraded Mark Levinson, so I do appreciate that. Um, heads up display is nice and clear and I can really see how well you're know, getting used to the buttons for the cruise control, just like a touch of a button like we've done it now, we're setting 50 and that's it even now to tell the booth from a 60 to a 50. Set the cruise control, you can change the adjustment of the radar cruise without taking your eyes off the road or like feeling, you just literally run your finger with touch capacitor buttons, comes up with a heads up display. It took me a second to get used to the RZ, but now I've driven a few Lexus models, I like it and I'm getting used to it and I think it's a nice method so your eyes are not distracted and looking down at the car. Touch screen or whatever's down here, you're looking straight ahead and you're do you know if that saves you a crash or any damage then so be it, <laughs> do you know. Um, I think these are a lot of things that not everybody thinks about so that's quite a good feature. Overall, my driving impressions of the car, it's comfortable, it's compliant, it's great for a subcompact kind of crossover, um, and there's not too many vehicles in this segment right now that are like premium and small. This rivals things to an extent, do you know, in, 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 in comparison of size, we like the Hyundai Kona, um, the Nissan Juke, do you know, the aforementioned Mini Cooper to an extent, although it's a lot bit shorter than this. Um, but do you know there's I know those other options that are not premium, like a Lexus badge would indicate. But, but do you know Audi Q2 kind of a lot bit bigger than this. Um, you know it's a lot bit more dated. BMW don't make anything in this size. Mercedes don't make anything in this class of size. So if you do live in kind of an urban environment where you want something like a small premium well-made vehicle, the LBX is probably one of your main to answers unless you want to buy used Aston Martin Signet, which you have 100% my approval to go for because I think they're fabulous cars as well, um, also based on the Toyota product. So thank you so much for watching this video on the Lexus LBX. As always, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Ciao.